At Linfield Learning Village, we are a New South Wales Department of Education school and therefore we follow the policy for uniform at our school. And what that means is that we have conducted an extensive community consultation and the community have chosen, along with the students, uh, the uniform that they want to wear at this school. Through the process, we actually had a great evening where um, kids presented what they wanted a uniform to look like or what sort of components it would be. Um, and then what we actually ended up doing is grabbing kids from every stage, from kindergarten right through to, I think at the time it was year 10. Um, so we had two children from every stage as sort of, I guess, the on the um, uniform panel. And we had many different sessions where we basically deep dived over what, what a uniform could be. And we looked in magazines and we looked online. Um, to say, well, what sort of, what would they want their uniform to look like? Um, from there, we then looked at the logo and we pulled apart the logo and I brought in lots of coloured swatches, um, which is like bits of fabric in all the colours that LLB uniform could be. And then the kids actually pulled together a colour palette of what they thought the uniform should be, which was amazing. It was such a wonderful process to be involved with. From that, we, we ended up with a little colour palette that a girl in year two actually pulled together. Um, and everyone voted on it and thought that that was the way to go. So we had our colours set, which was pulling in some of the bright colours using um, that brutalist colour palette that our building is so famous for. And it really, um, I guess it sets us apart from other school uniforms. Um, from there, we talked about, well, what sort of um, items did we want the uniform to have? Um, and the kids talked about all the different components. We wanted it to be really different from a traditional uniform. So we've got a hoodie and we really mashed up the logo to make it cool and to make it a bit more like a cool sportswear. Um, the kids decided they wanted sports leggings, they wanted basketball shorts. Um, we did do a polo shirt um, because we wanted a smart option for kids if they're representing the school or if they've got to go debating or something where they felt was a bit more formal. Um, and I guess what we've ended up with is, is a mixture of items that can be worn as the kids want to wear them. And what I love about it, my girls love the leggings, but they wear the leggings with a white t-shirt and their hoodie and sneakers. Um, and I love that you come into the playground and you've got a little girl in your two in a fairy skirt with the polo shirt. You know, and I think it really allows the children to pick and choose parts of the uniform that talk to them and put it together in a way that they can still express their personality and who they are um, whilst, you know, working with the, with the uniform pieces or not at all. Um, and I think it gives kids the flexibility to choose what they want to wear that day based on what they're doing. The most important thing for students at school is to be comfortable. In winter they want to be warm and in summer they need to feel cool and comfortable. Uh, we know that all of the environmental factors for a child are critical to their learning. So that's why having choice in uniform and being comfortable in what they're wearing is a really important part of their learning experience. We believe that school ultimately is about e equipping and preparing our children um, with the skills and experiences and mindsets to enter society and to contribute straight away. And having a compulsory uniform reinforces uh, the one-size-fits-all approach, um, the, the need to conform to a certain perspective. And this inhibits, or we feel that this inhibits our children's ability to express themselves um, and to really explore their own personality and individuality. I have spoken to, um, obviously, other parents that have a contrary view and one of the key concerns that comes up quite a bit there is that you will have the haves and the have-nots with some kids having, for example, designer clothes and other ones, you know, having clothes which, you know, are a little bit more modest. Uh, my understanding from the feedback that I've got primarily from my oldest daughter is this, this really doesn't happen at this school, primarily because the school is embedded in the values of empathy and respect and, and accepting the other. So um, I think as part of the learning philosophy of this school, a non-compulsory uniform is absolutely aligned with that. And 
I'm, I'm really happy with you know how that is indirectly impacting my children's passion for learning. I think also at LLV, it, there's a lot of talk about personal identity. So when we get to change ourselves and wear our own clothes, we get a sense of belonging and we get a sense of like, you know, personality. Yeah. It shows wearing mufti or wearing the uniform, it does bring out the personality in each individual. Hi, my name's Louise. I've got a boy in stage three and we love that there's no uniform here. He very, very much loves that there's no uniform here. Um, I feel like it makes the children more relaxed. If you look around, they just seem very comfortable in themselves and it has a very, yeah, a comfortable feeling. In the classroom, it creates less of a barrier between the, it, the teachers sort of feel less separate, so the kids can really trust them and feel closer to them, more like it's their mum or their dad or an aunt or something like that, which I think makes them much happier at school as well. Hi, I'm Lucy, I'm in stage six, and what I like most about the multi-form is seeing other people express themselves through their clothing. Over the period of time that the school has been open, we regularly consult with the community about our ongoing uniform decision and where we want to go with that moving forward. Our most recent survey showed that over 80% of our families would like to continue with the optional multi-form or in fact have no uniform at the school. Hi, I'm Camilla, I'm in stage six. I really like having a multi-form just because it lets us express who we are as individuals and it lets everyone's like creativity flow onto like their clothing. And it, even if um, you, know, you don't want it to be, then it doesn't matter at all, but it's just something fun that we get to do here. Hi, my name's Lynn. I'm in year 10, stage five. And the reason why I like the multi-form is because it gives me the option to wear my personal clothes plus the school clothes, and it's very comfortable. There are a number of reasons why the decision that has been made about uniform at Linfield Learning Village is a really critical one for student learning. One of the key things, I think, is the changing workplace environment that students will go out into when they leave this school and understanding what is appropriate dress and what is something that um, might be worn to the beach is actually a really good learning experience for our students.